Hey everyone, my name is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can easily create GIFs. To make this happen, I'm gonna show you three different kinds. We're gonna create a meme GIF, a profile picture GIF, and an animal GIF, all in just a few minutes. In this video, we're gonna use Veed's online video editor. So simply head over to your browser and type in Veed.new or click on the first link in the description. Now we're in Veed's editor and we can instantly get started. First, I wanna make a meme GIF and I already recorded a clip that I wanna use for this. So to upload it, simply click on upload a file and select the clip you wanna import. In this case, it's Tim Confused and then click on open. So the plan is to have a part of my footage visible and then above that I want to have a text. First, before I crop and trim the footage, I want to change the aspect ratio to a square. So to make this happen, head over to settings in the left menu and then on the size you can choose the dimensions you prefer. In this case a square, so I'm going to click on square and as you see it changed into a square. Then within the video canvas we can click on the video and you can use the side and corner options to further crop your video. In this case I want to get rid of the black lines and I want to drag the video or the footage down a little bit. I also want to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to use the corners for that. There you go. And now before we trim the footage, I want to change the background color. So head over to settings again and on the background, you can choose the color you prefer. In this case, I'm going to choose white. So there you go. And then if you want to trim the footage, head over to the bottom timeline and you can click and drag on one of the sides to extend or shorten the footage. Let's say when I want to let it start. So this would be the point at around one. So I'm going to click and drag it and I'm gonna drag the entire file to the left so it starts at that point. And then to actually add context to the meme, we're gonna add text to this video or to this GIF. So to make this happen, head over to text in the left menu, then you can choose one of the presets or just select headline title for instance. And once you edit the text in the text menu on the left, you're able to change the words, change the font style, the size, color, background color, and much more. And within the video canvas, you can click and drag on the text to move it around. You can use the side and corner options to resize it and also rotate it. And lastly, you can also add an animation to the text if you prefer, a slide up, a typewriter effect, a zoom in, whatever you like. And as a final touch to your GIF meme, if you head over to elements in the left menu, you can add stickers and emojis to emphasize certain emotions in your GIF meme. Simply click on the ones you like and you can reshift them within the video canvas. So that's how you easily create a GIF meme. Now, if you want to download the GIF, head over to the right top corner and click on export and then click on export video. And after it's rendered, click on the download button below the video, click on download GIF and it should be in your downloads folder. All right, so now let me show you how you can create a profile picture GIF or avatar GIF with Veed. For this example, we started a new project and we're back at the beginning. The plan is to have a picture of me and something moving in the background for the GIF. To get started, we're gonna use Veed's stock video library. We're gonna click on search to search for something bright. In this case, I wanna have something bright behind me. And as you can see, there's a lot you can choose from. In this case, I wanna have something abstract or starry, I guess. So in this case, I'm gonna select this one. Simply click on it and then it will be added to the project. Now I wanna upload the picture of myself that I wanna use for the profile picture. So to make this happen, head over to media in the left menu and click on upload a file and select the picture you want to import. I'm going to click on it and click on open. Now, as you can see, the picture is imported. You can use the side and corner options to resize it. You can reposition it and rotate it if you like. Now, first thing I want to do is change the aspect ratio into a square because that's the most convenient one for a profile picture. So head over to settings in the left menu and on the size, click on square. Now we're going to make sure everything's fit. So I'm going to click on the background and click on fill the canvas. And as you can see, it filled the canvas. And then I'm going to select my profile picture and use the side and corner options again to resize it, relocate it and further crop it. And now if we play the video, as you can see, the background moves behind my cutout. So now in this case, only the first three seconds or like five seconds are relevant for my GIF in this case, and the rest I can just delete. So to make this happen, head over to the bottom timeline and hold shift on your keyboard and make sure you select both of the layers and then click and drag the playhead to whatever you want to cut it and then click on split. And then just simply click on the footage and click on backspace to delete them. And there you have it. So now I want to download my profile picture GIF. So to make this happen, head over to the right top corner and click on export, then click on export export video. And after it's rendered, just like we did with the GIF meme, simply head over to the download button below the video, 
click on download GIF and it should be in your downloads folder. And then the third and final GIF, I'm gonna show you how you can make an animal GIF. Again, we're gonna start from scratch with a new project and I'm gonna use the stock video library again. For this example, I'm gonna search for a cute cat video. So simply click on search at the stock video library and then search for, let's say, cute cat. And as you can see, there are a lot of cute cats you can choose from. Uh, in this case, I wanna choose this sleepy one. I'm gonna select it. And again, it will be automatically added to your project. And we're gonna do a similar thing like we did with the GIF meme video. So first, let's change the aspect ratio to a square. So again, head over to settings in the left menu, and then on the size, choose square. You can also choose other dimensions, of course, but in this case, like I said, I'm gonna choose square. Then if you wanna make the video fit into the square, you can use the side and corner options again, or simply select it and in the edit video, video menu, simply click on fill the canvas. After that, you can further centralize your video by cropping it using the side and corner options. Now I'm gonna trim out a piece where she's moving a little bit. I think it's incredibly cute, so let's make that happen. Simply head over to the bottom timeline and click and drag on one of the sides to extend or shorten the footage. In this case, I'm gonna click and drag this all the way to the beginning. There you go. And now I wanna add a good night text at the bottom of this GIF. So to make this happen, head over to text in the left menu. You can select one of the presets, but in this case, I'm gonna select headline title. And again, just like we did with the video GIF meme, you can change the words on the left. You can change the text style, the color, background color, the size, you can add a text animation. And within the video canvas, you can resize it, reposition it and rotate the text. And again, under elements in the left menu, you can add stickers, emojis, you can add progression bars, whatever you prefer. And once you're satisfied and you wanna download your GIF, head over to the export button in the right top corner and click on export video. And once your GIF is rendered, head over to the download button below the video, click on download GIF, and it should be in your downloads folder. All right, so that's it for this video. That's how you easily create GIFs. I just showed you a couple of examples you can try for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.